guys, what we're doing today is replacing an NAE45 with an SNE2200. Now, typically you would not need to have the SNE2200 replace a 45, just depending on your system. But one of the reasons why we are going with the SNE2200 for this particular application is because of some work that we're going to be doing where we're going to be adding some additional controllers and in fact we're actually going to be adding some back net devices because you know currently this trunk is mostly in two but with technology changes with uh, some of the stuff that we've got going on uh, we are needing a back net trunk for this building we're going to be pulling in some metering and things like that we're having to upgrade a flow meter so we've gone ahead and gotten a uh, a, flow, a new flow meter that talks back net and having the availability of the trunk is going to give us a lot of options to be able to turn this system up a notch. You know, we're going to be able to automate the system a little bit more, some of the readings that we're having to get from this and all of that. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. Currently, I have already spoken with our IT department they already have the MAC address for the uh, updating the MAC address for this device. And just bear with me, guys, just doing this one handed, trying to see which way I got to turn this plug. And the uh, system basically is pretty much ready to go. Now, of course, uh, basically the only thing that I have got to do now, I've already got part of the system um, done as far as naming and the IP address and all that so basically what I've got to do now is just get it online and put the database into it and just thought I would make a quick video showing you guys part of that process of course I suggest you go back check out some of the previous videos that I have done on this very thing you got to make sure that you remove from move the original NAE from the site once you turn power off and all that fun stuff. So what I'm going to do now, basically, is just let this boot up, and then I'm going to browse into the device through our network, pair it with the server, and get it online. So just thought I would do just a couple of videos, a couple of quick short videos to show you part of that process. Now, if any of you guys have seen some other videos, you'll know that with the SNE, they see themselves as a site director. So what you have to do is actually to demote it. And what I'm doing now is I'm currently connected in to this device through a switch to the campus network, something that our IT department absolutely hates when we do. But what I need to do is I'm going to pair this with the server. And the way that I've got to do that is I've got to have the device to be able to see the server. And when I pair this to our server, uh, of course, going into it, browsing into it through my laptop uh, to the device, uh, I've got to go in and put the site director and the IP address and all of that for the site director. It's going to ask me for the login information for that. And once that I enter it, it will then want to reboot and then it will pair uh, with the server. Now you can pair through SCT, which is something uh, very common as well. But for this particular application, I'm actually going to be pairing it manually. And there we are, guys. I've got it all connected up. I've got the database loaded into it, and we are just now going through making sure that everything comes back online. As you just saw those points pop in, it'll take it a few minutes before everything comes back up. But this is another SNE that we have successfully installed. You can see there we do have an additional trunk that we're going to be needing for some future projects. But anyways, guys, just a quick video that I wanted to do. Hope this is helpful to you. If you have any questions, go leave those down in the comments below. Also, be sure to go back and check out some of those other videos that I've done on installing these. Uh, it kind of gives you a little bit more information if you're stuck at a certain point. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Check out the rest of the videos on the channel, and we'll see you next time.